KDAV2 is at the bottom. Copy two on the bottom. I will continue to the forward face of ESP-2. Copy, and uh, I've got a poor man's fair lead around handrail 0545 on the uh, airlock Copy. to keep my tether back here. Thank you. Yes, you're going to need a Bravo 7. Inst install the, torque was 23, so. Okay. I've got the uh, PGT, and I'll set uh, Bravo 7, and then uh, was it counter 2? Same setting, so Bravo 7 and uh, counter 2. And you said uh, 13 turns ish? Yeah, 13 to 15 turns. Bravo 7, counter 2. Stop, stop. Okay, and we're rotating around to 8. Diver EV2, can you please hold this handle up? Thank you. Oh, okay. Thanks. And Bob, copy your, your tethers are good now? Yes. Not oh, sure. EV1, this is TD. You've been in there almost two hours. How's your suit fit and way out? Um, suit fit and way out for EV1 is good. Copy that, thank you. How about you, EV2? How's your suit fit and way out? EV2, good. If I can just get a quick way out when I get here, just, I've been a little bit buoyant, but it might be, might be good now. Okay, no problem. Okay, when you get there, just let the divers know and they'll check your way out real quick. Okay. All right, thanks to both of you. So, Josh, just before you do that, oh, hold on one second. Push off, sorry. So, I'm just just thinking about what we're gonna do while the arm moves. Is you've got a bag on your BRT right now, um, mm -hmm. but while while the arm's moving, we're thinking we'll have you guys uh, take a look inside the truss, getting in there together and, and figuring out that kind of how you move. Okay. So, it might be good to pop your bag off your BRT while you're getting this way out. Okay. Okay, I've arrived on S0. So I guess, drivers, we can just take this bag off for the way out. 
copy, Bob. And yeah, Jazz, so you'll you'll have it back on you when you're in the APFR, but I don't think your way out is as important at that point. Roger. And we have uh, sunset in two minutes. Okay, I've got the uh, green hook closed onto the uh, stanchion between 9000 and 8970, closed and locked. Copy and just verify your reels are unlocked. Both reels are verified unlocked. Okay, if uh, Jaws was really in the arm and it was really only a you know 10 minute maneuver over here, she'd be just about here. Um, at this point. So your next steps would be to get into position in P1 Bay 12 to assist EV2 with install of FH FHRC. Um, so why don't you just take a look at that, uh, spend the time now to just think about where you're going to position your body um, and what it'll look like when she's bringing that in. Um, I think we're still going to have a little bit of time after that, in which case we can uh, start taking a look at the Stinger QD location. Okay. So do you just want, do you want me to ingress in there or? Well, so for um, we can just put that probably little one on it, and when it comes time for the real one, hand me the 18-inch, I guess. So, yeah, I was just on the phone with the um, tools lab. So for now, just leave nothing on the PGT. We'll get a we'll get another 18-inch socket um, to deal with later. Um, that's my bad. I should have had you pull that off since you're going to be on stretcher. Yeah, divers, we can just hold on to the high fi for now. We're gonna get another low fi, uh, but just just don't don't put anything on. Just leave it blank to to reach in there and help uh, align that. Yeah, I think this location is not a bad one. But we'll see how getting out looks like once there's another box in the way. Roger. I'm hopeful that. When the time comes to come out and pitch myself and come out using uh, these handrails, but we'll we'll see how that goes. That sort okay. of thing. So yeah, use it, but don't you can leave don't it beat off it up. For now, divers. Divers, you can leave that 18 inch off until I get back in the arm, yep. just so we don't break it again. Thanks. There's also a I'm not sure how flight-like it is. James, there's the support structure there. It's got a lot of foam on it, so there might be a secondary couple of handrails that you could work with. Yeah, and we can we can look at pictures of the support structure. Um, that I think it's just not as good a grip as that nice, you know, R perfectly hand-shaped hand sh uh, pole, right? Got it. See that, Jasmine? I'm not in a good... Position to get to my uh, checklist here, but okay, this is simulated water, FYI, simulated. Yep, simulated. Okay, the stinger is in its uh, position here. Um, I can take hold of the FHRC for a second. Okay. And I'll hold motion while you guys transfer. Happy, let me know when you're good for me to release it. I am with the uh, diver support. I'm getting some uh, yaw. All right. All right, it's starting to get a lot more water. It's coming around my face, blocking my biz. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've got one hand on the FHRC. I'm opening my helmet purge valve. Copy. Bringing my fan switch. Should I need my other hand here? Okay, and you'll right, get the water fan, off. Fan switch is off. Water switch is off. And let me know when you have control of the FHRC. I have control of the FHRC. Happy. Can't really uh, see my cuff checklist that well, but 
Oh. And Bob, it looks like it's a little bit wanting to float up, so if, if you're fighting any buoyancy, definitely ask for help. Copy. Okay, I've got the FHRC here. Jasmine, can you confirm you got the fan off, water off? I've got fan off, water off, and my helmet purge valve is open. Copy. And I... If you're good with your connection to her, we're go for you to release uh, safety and waste tether. Okay, she is uh, closed and locked to me. I am releasing her waste tether. And I think we saw you uh, taking her, her safety tether off. We heard waste tether before. Just uh, make sure you get the waste tether too if there is one. Copy that. I do have her waste tether released as well. Okay, it looks like she's holding on to structure for me. And she is out of the APFR at this time. Pitch back. Okay. Yep. Hey, you can stop there. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up with arm motion for M1, and uh, we'll uh, we'll cut this in half, and we should be able to then at that point you and I accomplish the install without the arm. Copy. Okay. Okay, for M1 from EV1, uh, ready, begin GCA, and I'd like to go station aft uh, about. 45, 50 centimeters. And EV1M1, copy all. Station aft motion, 45 centimeters. Starting that motion. And there's your motion. Okay, looks like good motion. Copy good motion. Continue. Continuing motion. Continue. Continuing motion. 25 centimeters remaining. Okay, you can uh, stop motion. Ramping out motion. Motion has stopped. Okay, Jasmine, I'd like to copy. I, I think we'll uh, call GCA complete for now. Copy that. GCA complete. Brakes are on. Okay, that's three additional turns for a total of six and a half. Copy. I think that's fewer turns we got on install, so there's probably a little bit of uh, slack in the in the pull interface. So when we get the second bolt, it might we might end up coming back here and putting a little bit more on that one okay, Captain. once that forces alignment a bit. But okay, and I'm going to need the GCA to access the other bolt. That's firm. Uh, GCA to access uh, the zenith, the zenith bolt, and Bob, uh, you can get set up for Bax bolts three and four on the aft side. Okay. You have same settings as Jasmine, Bravo 5, Clock 2. Okay, I'll uh, call them when I get my PGT out so I don't uh, don't forget them. Bob, you good for me to do a quick GCA? Uh, I am. M1, EV2, ready for GCA. And EV2, M1, ready. Okay, uh, can I get a station zenith about 30 centimeters? Copy station scene at 30 centimeters. If you could check your ingress aid for me. Good call. That is. Okay, now it is sued. Thank you, ma'am. And 30 centimeters station scene starting that motion. I got a green light and actual torque for Bravo 5 is what, 22? What is it? Yes, 22.0. 22, okay. And uh, Bob, for you, uh, per your recommend or request this morning, uh, we are at um, about four hours, depending on how you calculate it. It's one o'clock. Um, okay. And so as far as consumables go, um, 
we've got a giant tank of oxygen outside, so you've got several days of O2. Um, but yeah, we should be able to make it to 1500, no problem. Okay. And uh, so you guys aren't tracking any extra tasks that you want to get done today for us? Um, at this point, uh, we're, with where we are, it, it looks like we're trending towards being able to finish this task and do an ingress. Um, it, it does not look like we'll be able to have the time to get the uh, FHRC off the POA today, uh, okay. but if things speed up, we'll, we'll uh, consider that when we get there. Okay, copy. Copy. Divers, this BRT is really stiff. I'm trying to get just get it stowed here by my left armpit. And James, can you remind me what's next? Yep, from here, um, you're going to assist uh, EV2 with, with QD mating. the truss. I've got my PGT and my BRT accounted for. Copy. And Jasmine, it looks like you're doing an inspection too. Yeah, you 2 has got dry hab, uh, good gloves, and I will, uh, I'll hold off on checking my safer handles until I get out of this truss. Copy um, that. I've got one spid, and uh, I believe I'm in egressing the APFR now, is that correct? That's firm. Um, and I should have specified, but this one we do want to be the hi-fi one. If it's not the one you grabbed, we can have divers grab the hi-fi one. Copy. And, okay, I don't know if that weighs a lot more. Maybe we can, oh, no, that's fine. They're both metal, so I don't imagine it's that much different. Roger. Thank you. Hey, okay, James, I can verify 12. Uh, Quebec, Quebec. Twelve Quebec, Quebec are good settings. We're expecting Delta nine for the rest. Okay, Delta nine. Okay, Bob, now it's on a RET. We'll pass it into you. Okay. And now I think from this location we could uh, probably not have this much <laughs> foam on it because it's, uh, but and we could have the crew lock bag in here with us. Yeah, is, is there a diver in the bay across from you, Bob? There is. And yeah. they've got the hi-fi tools over there, too. So this, I think, helps facilitate the handoff as well. So. Yeah, I was just thinking they can probably help kind of manage that bag. Okay, yeah, that uh, bag is going to, foam-wise, that's going to be one of the likely things to take out that camera. Back at this time, okay. There's the forward spit spacer. I've got the forward spit spacer. Okay, let me try to get out of your way here. And for divers, for EV1, Alan or Eddie, if I could get you to lift my feet up.
And James, was there a specific interface that you wanted me to come over here and, and check? I know there's a there's an adapter plate down underneath this battery. We uh, looked at these at the IPL the other day. There's an electrical connector. Looks like that electrical connector is hidden underneath the battery right now. Yep, not not looking for any, any um, specific um, thing for you to interface with. Just just seeing that they are recessed down in there and kind of assessing reach to various various parts of it. Okay. And one of the things I do see here is that uh, the faces or the it looks like the locations are identified, but maybe the faces aren't. Like I'm in, I see Y in front of me, and I see C next to that. Just trying to understand the. Yeah, and we call them out by by the slot number. So you'd be facing like if you were actually on structure right now, 